Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the magic of Vietnam vibrant cities, stunning landscapes, and a rich culture. We'll explore everything from Hanoi's bustling streets to Ha Long Bay's tranquil waters. So, grab your virtual passport because we're about to embark on a journey that will make you want to book a one-way ticket to Vietnam. Let's go. Okay guys, Hanoi. This city is a whirlwind of energy and tradition. Our first stop was Hoan Kim Lake, the heart and soul of Hanoi. The legend goes that this lake is home to a giant turtle who helped a king defeat invaders. Next up, we hit the streets of Hanoi's Old Quarter. The streets are a maze of shops, restaurants, and street vendors, selling everything from silk pajamas to the most delicious pho. To soak up a bit of history, we headed over to the Temple of Literature, Vietnam's first university. The architecture here is stunning with courtyards and gardens. Hanoi is chaotic and charming all at the same time, and I could wander its streets for days. Ha Long Bay is like stepping into a real-life fairy tale. Imagine emerald green waters dotted with limestone islands. We explored the bay on a traditional Vietnamese junk boat. One of the coolest things about Ha Long Bay is the caves. We explored Sung Sot Cave, filled with stalactites and stalagmites. Ha Long Bay is magical and awe-inspiring, a place that will stay with you long after you leave. You've been a good Next up, Sapa, a mountainous region in northwest Vietnam. Imagine rolling hills covered in rice terraces and villages frozen in time. The main reason to visit Sapa is to go trekking. We spent our days hiking through the rice paddies, stopping to chat with locals. One highlight was visiting Cat Cat Village, home to the Black Hmong people. Sapa is the perfect place to escape city life and immerse yourself in nature and local culture. Hoi An is like stepping back in time. This charming town was once a major trading port, with streets lined with colorful merchant houses and ancient temples. The real magic happens at night when Hoi An transforms into a city of lanterns. Thousands of colorful silk lanterns create a magical glow. We took a boat trip down the Thuban River to visit the Tirake Vegetable Village. Hoi An is a town that will capture your heart with its history, culture, and charm. Next stop, Hue. This city was once the imperial capital of Vietnam. Our first stop was the Imperial City, a massive complex of palaces and temples. We took a dragon boat ride down the Perfume River, named for the fragrant flowers along its banks. One of the most impressive sights in Hue is the Thien Mu Pagoda, a seven-story octagonal tower. Hue is a city steeped in history and tradition. It's also a city of great beauty, with its serene river and stunning architecture. Da Nang is like the Miami of Vietnam, a vibrant coastal city. First up, we checked out Mai Kay Beach, famous for its soft white sand and crystal clear water. One of the most iconic landmarks in the city is the Dragon Bridge, which breathes fire and sprays water on weekends. For adventure, we headed to the Marble Mountains, home to caves, temples, and stunning views. We climbed to the top for panoramic views of Da Nang and the coastline. Da Nang has something for everyone, from beaches to ancient temples and modern architecture. Ho Chi Minh City, or Saigon, is a whirlwind of activity. We visited the War Remnants Museum, a sobering reminder of the Vietnam War. To lighten the mood, we headed to Ben Thon Market, a shopper's paradise. For a dose of culture, we checked out the Ku Chi Tunnels, used by the Viet Cong during the war. It's incredible to think that people lived and fought in these cramped tunnels. Ho Chi Minh City is a city of contrasts, where history and modernity collide. It's a place where tradition and progress coexist. You can find anything and everything your heart desires. For our final adventure, we journeyed to the Mekong Delta. Imagine a labyrinth of rivers, canals, and islands where life revolves around the water. We took a boat trip through the Delta, cruising past floating markets. We tried local delicacies like fresh coconut juice and crispy fried elephant ear fish. We visited a traditional rice paper workshop and a coconut candy factory. The Mekong Delta is a place of peace, tranquility, and incredible natural beauty. It's the perfect place to relax and experience a different side of Vietnam. We've explored Vietnam from north to south and this country has stolen a piece of my heart. We started in Hanoi, wandered through ancient temples and soaked up the city's energy. Then we sailed through Halong Bay, marveled at the limestone karsts and explored hidden caves. 
We trekked through Sapa, meeting the incredible Hmong people. In Hoi An, we wandered through lantern-lit streets and marveled at the ancient architecture. We cruised down the Perfume River in Hue and explored the imperial city. Da Nang wowed us with its beautiful beaches and modern bridges. Ho Chi Minh City was a whirlwind of history, culture, and delicious food. We've come to the end of our Vietnamese adventure, and I'm already dreaming of my next trip back. From the moment we landed, we were captivated by the country's beauty, its people, and its delicious food. We learned so much about Vietnamese culture and history. Vietnam is a country that will stay with you long after you leave. So what are you waiting for? Book that ticket, pack your bags, and get ready for an adventure of a lifetime. And that's a wrap on our Vietnamese adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this incredible journey. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel vlogs, tips, and shenanigans. We've got so many more exciting destinations lined up, so you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.